My guys, welcome to Honkai Star Rail Closed Beta 2. Well, sign ups anyway. Uh, time to play the lottery draw again. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace. This is a Honkai Star Rail video. And to be honest, all I can say is that I am giga hyped. This is probably the game, the next big game that I will be picking up 100%. And so in this video, I want to show you guys some footage of the CBT1. I want to show you guys how to sign up for the CBT, the upcoming CBT2. And then I want to touch on a couple of different points as to why I am so excited for this game. And to top it off, maybe I'll be a React YouTuber. I don't know. Let's have a look at the closed beta trailer maybe later. And so my guys, I do want to kick things off with the most important information first, and that is the sign up to the closed beta 2. You can see here, enter sign up button over here, one up here. You're going to click any of them. You're going to have to log into your Hoyoverse account. And so after you log into your Hoyoverse account, you are going to be presented with the closed beta sign up survey. This is very, very familiar. If you guys have played like the Honkai or the Genshin, they use essentially the same survey system. And to be honest, you're just going to go through and fill this out. If you guys don't know how to fill out a survey, man, I don't know if you guys should be in CBT. And so so honestly, that is that. Very, very easy. However, I do want to go through a couple of the different important pieces of information. And so to kick things off, the most important thing is that this is an independent for white beta test. And so what that means is that any progress that you had in closed beta one, none of that is going to carry over to closed beta two. And any progress that you do accrue in closed beta two is not going to carry across anywhere. And so the next thing is that you have about two and a half weeks to sign up. Don't leave it to the last minute. That's what I did for the last one. Uh, I'm not going to talk much more about it. In terms of the available platform, it is going to be available on PC, Android, and iOS. There are certainly uh, the minimum specs down here. And so my guys, just have a quick look at this one. See if your PC or your Android or your iOS can actually support the game because it'd be really, really sad if you got into the game, but you couldn't actually play it because of your limiting factor, which is your device. All right, and so the last big piece of information that I want to mention to you guys is the languages because languages is always so freaking important. In the second closed beta, there will be for text, traditional Chinese, English, Korean, and Japanese, Japanese, Russian, Thai, Vietnamese, Bahasa, Indonesia, and Spanish, which is actually a very, very wide variety. On the other hand, in terms of voiceovers, which I think is probably more important for the majority of us, we've got Chinese, we've got English, Korean, and Japanese. It's honestly pretty crazy, like the amount of languages that Hoyoverse are supporting already by the closed beta 2, it's like world class. And so before we finish, finish, there is actually one very, very important phrase down here. And that is this one over here. I switch my device during the second close beta. Will I be able to play the game on my new device? The big answer is no, you'll get banned essentially and you will lose access to the beta. And so what this means is that if you do want to stay in the beta program for the closed beta 2 test, you do want to actually not do any of these things over here. So you don't want to change your PC hardware. You don't want to reinstall operating system. You don't want to give your login details to a friend. That's probably the biggest one and it's what got a lot of people banned from the first CBT. All right, and so all that said, that's pretty much all of the important info. I would definitely drop this down in the description below if you did want to read more. And so now with all of the important information out of the way, I do want to introduce you guys to a couple of the new characters. And as you guys could probably deduce, we have these two characters in the front who are essentially our traveler equivalents if you have played Genshin Impact. All I can say is that these travelers, these trailblazers, they're freaking looking dank ads. And so I believe in CBT1, there was the male trailblazer, but in this CBT, I hope, I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to play the female one as well. However, however, this female trailblazer is not the only new character in the game. So I'm gonna scroll through. We have Dan Hang over here. We have March 7th, we've got Himeko, and we got Welt down here. And then what you'll notice is that on the left-hand side, there are actually more factions, groups kind of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and click onto Stellaron Hunters. We've got Kafka, who is, oh my God, honestly, all all these character designs are insane. We've got Silver Wolf over here. If you guys are Honkai players, you guys will be very, very familiar with this character. But the interesting thing about this is that Silver Wolf is not Bronya. Bronya is Bronya. And so moving on, we have the Herta Space Station. We've got Arlen over here. After that, we have Asta. I, I think this was probably my favorite character from CBT1. And then to finish off the space station, we have Herta, which is essentially kind of like a doll. And so my guys, lastly, let me introduce to the Bella Bog City faction, whatever you want to call it. To kick things off, we have Sampo over there. Then we have Gepard, and then we have Bronya. And so for all of you Honkai Impact 3 players, I think you guys will be very, very excited to see this Bronya. However, do remember that this Bronya and eventually this Sile, these are not the Bronyas and Siles and Himikos and whoever that we know. However, I did jump ahead a little bit. Let's go back over here. We've got Pella, 
And then we've got, oh my god, honestly, these character designs, Serval, and then we've got Natasha. These character designs are seriously, like, right up my alley. They are very, very tasteful, and they're not gonna get, like, censored. And so here we've got Sile. Next, we've got Clara. I do believe Clara was in the first CBT, and that is going to bring us to the end of all of the characters for Honkai Star Rail as of now. Honestly, there is an insane blend of husbandos as well as waifus. And then there are, like, characters for all of the different niches. You've got, like, your Mega Nair characters like another one over here. You've got your elder sister archetypes, like your Ara Ara. You've got your younger sister archetype. You've got your Ikemen, like literally everybody is an Ikemen. Hoyoverse is really just going to be catering to literally every single audience there is. And so next, I do want to show you guys a little bit of the gameplay that I did record from the CBT. Not my gameplay because I didn't make it to the CBT. And so to kick things off, this is the combat system in which you can tell it is turn-based. However, you do see a couple of the familiar systems. We've got like the element systems. You've got the E's and the Q's. This is like your ultimate and my god these animations are actually like better than the Genshin Impact ones it's it's pretty crazy and so as you can see down here you have a Q and an E and they both are essentially two different attacks that you can take on this turn me personally I do really hope that in the upcoming CBT they add actually more skills I do think that two skills is a little bit too little especially when you have other games like Epic 7 Summoner's War like all of those new turn-based games they all have at least three skills I do think that this E and Q thing it's like it's cool it builds upon the Genshin kind of habits but it's just not enough and so yeah that's essentially the battle system in a nutshell what I'm showing you here is Bronya. however not just Bronya herself but the cutscenes the cutscenes are at this point still fantastic otherwise here my guys is a look at the open world we are essentially it's I wouldn't say it's identical to Genshin, but it is very, very similar. And so there is a chance that you guys may be wondering, well, how exactly do you get into the turn-based combat system from an open world? And the answer is essentially you go and run into them, kind of like Pokemon actually. And so here we are about to enter battle. We are about to have our character March 7th. She's going to fire off a shot and she is going to transition us into the turn-based combat. And when we finally reach the combat, you can see that one of the characters were actually frozen. One of the enemies were frozen because we did a preemptive strike. In terms of some of the menus, oh wait, there was a chest in the background. This is kind of what it looked like in the first CBT, the inventory. And then I do believe for equipments, we are using something that is similar to an artifact system it may make or break the game for you guys I'm not sure but it's like very very obvious that a lot of these systems look at that chest in the background these systems are very very inspired by Genshin Impact's layout you've got the one two three you've got the E's Q's however this is most certainly going to be more like your single player RPGs very much like your traditional RPGs like your Pokemon like your Final Fantasy and so if you guys are not into that kind of thing then I guess there's a potential that this is not really it for you. And so my guys, before we wrap things up, I do want to have a look at this teaser video, the beta trailer. I am honestly so freaking excited. If you guys do want to watch this on your own, I completely understand. When but come watch with me, guys. To make a choice, oh. Make one that you know you won't regret. Okay. Oh my. Yo, everything's on ice. I mean, it do be kind of cold in space, right? <laughs> oh. Hey, do we die? Yo. At the end of your journey. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. They are showing the female MC quite a fair bit. In Genshin, a lot of people argue that the male MC, the male traveler, is like the true canon MC. I'm actually wondering if the female MC in this game is going to be the main one, the canon one. Let's All keep going. All that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Wow. I'm so excited. What the freak, Himiko? Sile, we've got Sile over there. Hey, Sile Simps, comment down in the chat. Everything is so icy. It's kind of, it's kind of uniform. Oh, it looks kind of like APHO 2. Oh yeah, we've got the Asta. we the Ara Ara. We've got Xiao. <laughs> we've got, we've got a human Xiao. Oh, okay. Reach the end of the story in your own way. What? Okay. 
That's oh, we got fucking guns. We got. Did she just use a gun? <laughs> Dude, this this is so high. What? <laughs> Dude. I, w I would almost argue, oh my god, that just reminded me, that scene right there. This just really reminded me of like the Hersha of Flame Scion from Honkai Impact 3. Oh my god, I am in love, I am in love already. Is that is that it? Is that the end? Is that all we got? Give me more, give me more, oh we got more. Oh, was... we got Kafka? Man, everybody's so wide to get up. Kafka's a bad guy? A bad girl? I mean, oh, I mean, she is a bad girl, you know what I'm saying? But damn, does that mean that the, the silver wolf is on the bad side? Damn, what the frick? My guys, I gotta say, that might be one of the best Hoyoverse teasers I've actually seen, and I'm mainly comparing it to the Genshin ones. Honestly, after seeing that trailer, I do think that the female MC is going to be the canon MC, which is freaking fantastic. And so my dudes, that is going to bring us to the end of the video. Honestly, I am so freaking hyped. I cannot wait until this game gets the CVT and actually comes out. However, my dudes, it is time for you guys to let me know if you guys are freaking hyped for this game. Did you guys sign up for the CVT? Because again, I do realize that not everybody is actually up for the single player RPG kind of experience, for the turn-based experience. A lot of people, they are expecting or wanting the more combat, the action-based ones. This is not really it. And so my dudes, let me know down in the comments below, will you be signing up for CBT2? And if you guys do end up dropping a comment down below, I would really appreciate it because it means that you've watched up until the end of the video. Thank you guys so much. If you did like this video or you found it kind of helpful, please consider a subscribe, a like, and notification bell on. Ding! But otherwise, my guys, as Asta, where are you? Asta, 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 as Asta once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.